Okay, I was tagged by Kenny, the Idahoan, for, you know, I got to do my script. Uh, I can't remember anything. It goes with old age. All right, uh, I was tagged to do five backpacking failures and mistakes. And I'm sitting not under one of them but beside one of them. So let me take you on a quick look around this. Well, this is how that setup looks. And uh, you can see that the tarp is lower on one end than it is on the other. That's to make sure that the water slopes off instead of pooling on the porch area there. And I'll do a little walk around here as far as I can get with guy lines all over the place. It's a cheap budget tent and a good tarp. And the reason I set it up this way is because the tent is budget. And that gives it a little bit more protection from rain. And also if you're in the sun, it gives you some shade to sit in. Okay, um, I'm gonna leave the Idahoans link in the description below. You guys gotta check him out. He is so funny. And he goes some fantastic hiking places. You, you just got to go see him. Just, just do it. All right. All right. Let's uh, start out with uh, number one. Or maybe I should go backwards. Ah, doesn't matter. It's, uh, it's in chronological order anyway. Okay. On my first ever solo camping trip <laughs> uh, that uh, I had an old military surplus pup tent canvas and I was going to go out and do my first camp all by myself in the woods back in Ohio. Uh, I went out, got everything set up, thought everything was looking good. Then evening come. And the mosquitoes come. No netting. It's, a it's an old military pup tent. They didn't have netting in those World War II, Korean War uh, pup tents. They just didn't. Okay, so I said, okay, I'll brave out the mosquitoes. Put a little mosquito stuff on. Off. I think it was off at the time. It might have been something else. Cutters, maybe. I don't know. Whoever made it back then. But uh, eh, I got ate up. But later on during the night, there it comes. The rain. I got soaked to the bone. Uh, sleeping bag when I carried it out of the woods probably weighed 30 pounds full of water and I was full of water too oh that was mistake number one but it was a learning experience of course all these were but I got kind of a slopey learning curve I'm kind of pig-headed it takes me a while to get the message all right uh, number two on a hike in Ohio still when I was young I ran out of water okay back in Ohio there's a lot of little ponds and swamps and stuff like that I never heard of water filters I don't even know if they had them back then. Anyway, I got me a drink of pond water. Well, 
You know what it feels like to have your insides coming out both ends? Oh, that was an experience. I learned not to drink unfiltered, unsanitized water. All right. Number three. So I need, uh, I'm living out in Wyoming now, and I need a tent. I don't have much money. Um... So I say, well, okay, I'll get me a budget tent. Go on to Amazon, get me a budget tent. This baby right here. It's called a Zumit or Zumit, like Summit. And uh, never heard of it, never seen it again after I bought it. It's not a bad tent. But between buying the tent and waterproofing this thing three times a year and being paranoid about getting wet so i carry a tarp too and i put it under a tarp so i uh wound up spending as much on waterproofing and a tarp as I did the tent. Uh, oh well. Still have it though. Still have it. Of course, I can't afford anything else right now. I want to get a new tent. I will get a new tent. But not right now. So I have to do it this way for now. But it works. All right. Number four, all right, started my YouTube channel. This has all been part of it. And I wanted a stabilized video. I got tired of the shaking around all over the place. So I had my little uh, Sony Handycam. I found a gimbal that would work with it. $400 gimbal. A four pound gimbal and then I found out that this was a mistake and a failure as well because I went on a long hike with that and I felt like my left arm was gonna I felt like my bicep was twice the size of my right bicep by the time I got out of the forest. Four pounds holding it out in front of you, filming yourself and whatever. That gets heavy. So, another lesson learned. So what do I do? I go out and buy a stabilized small camera. And that's what this is being videoed on right now. I love it. But there I did it again. Spent money twice again to accomplish the same goal. Thick headed. All right, number five, and most of you are aware of this one. I wanted to try hammock camping. So I bought me a hammock, mosquito net, decent hammock, very, very good hammock. And I set it up in the backyard, get out this tarp, and my hammock's 11 foot long. My tarp is 10 feet long. <laughs> so, buy a 12 foot tarp. Then I said, okay, I'm ready. I go up into the mountains. Set up camp, loving it. Brought out my sleeping bag in it, good sleeping bag. And uh, went to sleep, woke up cold on the bottom, very cold on the bottom. And I found out 
kind of the hard way, even though I did research into this stuff. I thought, oh God, it isn't that cold. I'm not gonna need an under quilt. So I buy an under quilt. <sighs> Some more money. I get an under quilt. Yay. Finally warm in the hammock. Then I go and weigh all this stuff. The tarp, hammock, the straps, the under quilt weighed more than my tent setup. Ah, so I have kind of, sort of retired the hammock. So that's my five mistakes. Most of them, as you could very well see, gear or the lack of it. And, okay, so I have to tag three other people. And I will have their links in the description below as well. My first tag is John, Senior Hiker, 77. This guy amazes me. He's older than me. He's still out there cutting it up. No problem. You got to go visit him as well. Because if you're not already subscribed to John's channel, you got to do it. I mean, you'll, he does a lot of little gear reviews and stuff like that. And does some camping with his friends. Great stuff. All right. My tag number two is Dustin, the backpack blazer out of Utah. And if you want to see some good fly fishermen, this gentleman is it. I don't fish. I don't fish. But I get a kick out of watching him because he enjoys it so much. He just lives for it. And he does some beautiful backpacking along with a friend of his who I am also tagging which is Corbin from Campfires and Coffee and uh, Corbin's also out of Utah you ought to see this gentleman's edits fantastic oh man and uh, just like Kenny the Idahoan I mean his videos are fantastic but he's entertaining at the same time all these gentlemen are great entertaining you've got to go and see them you've got to their links are below so and kenny's uh link is below as well and is also going to be on the end screen so i might even camp out in this tonight being i went through the hassle putting it up it's the fourth of july weekend and uh i'm not up on the mountain camping because everybody in town is on the mountain camping it's quieter here so I, i'll just camp right here in my backyard so until next time my friends this is max with high camp Bye for now.